In this video, I'm going to show you how to make tape for the Kane 100 AMO, and this is probably the best tape you can make um, at home without spending $10 for the razor grip tape, and this is only to be used when your mouse texture like completely wears off. As you can see, mine became glossy because I used it so much, and at this point, the mouse is still good, but the texture is just not there. And I'm going to show you how to recreate that texture, but mod it so that it gets even more CPS than usual. So, all the materials you'll need is something to uh, cut on, a razor, um, just a razor, I guess, some scissors, electrical tape, and some matte scotch tape. First thing you want to do is um, you know, you're going to measure how long the longest side of the cane is. So. For me, I use inches because I live in the U.S. and you should be able to convert it to centimeters anyway. Um, so for me, when I measure it from here, 2.5 inches, and I'm just going to have that down. So it has a length of 2.5 inches. I'm just going to use a sharpie and just like put that down like that. Now like in the future, I'll know like how long it is. You're just going to get a tape, like your electrical tape, like this much. And then I'm going to put it next to the marks that I made, like so. Make sure to flatten out any bubbles in it. This is the most important part, pretty much. And um, you're going to get another piece of tape and put it on top of it again, like this. Um, what this lets you do, like the benefits of using two pieces of tape instead of one, is that it makes it thicker. And the thickness also helps you get more CPS because the thicker it is, like pretty much it gets a little bit heavier and it sends like faster vibration, like because there's like longer waves and then shorter waves, but shorter waves, like it clicks faster because you don't have to go so up and down. And also it helps you butterfly click on the Kane 100 because it just makes it thicker and gives you more platform to butterfly on. So what you're gonna do is just go ahead and cut straight down from these two points that I made from earlier, like so. Now once I cut it down, I'm just gonna get the edge of my knife and just take, peel that off. I'm gonna make like etching into this so that like the, so that the top piece of the tape is able to get a little bit of friction. So I'm not pressing too hard here. I'm like pressing really lightly and I'm just going down the piece of tape with the edge of my knife and this is just helping it create a little more friction maybe get some uh, bubbles out as well okay, once you've gone the whole, whole way like it should second piece of tape and I just cut it around that much all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it right over and I try to be as precise as possible when I'm doing this Okay, now comes the second step. Uh, you'll notice on the Kane 100, there's like these like kind of grooves, and we're just gonna like cut according to the grooves. Now we kind of we could kind of eyeball this, I guess. Like we could just kind of like measure how much it is. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna get that and uh, cut a straight line from around here. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just angling, I'm just angling it over here and I'm just like kind of following it over just so I get like the general angle. And then I'm just going to cut an angle like that. Just carefully peel it off from the back. That's what I find more consistent. Let's peel it off from the back like so. And then, oh my god. You don't want it to separate. Okay. Now once you've gotten it from the back, you're gonna carefully, just very carefully, put it on the mouse like so. And it should pretty much follow the general pattern of the mouse. And this, and if it does look like this, then you're pretty much good to go. This is what the mouse should look like with both of the sides done. And it's pretty easy. Um, it's a really easy tape to drag on. I'm 
And I'll also now tell you all the benefits of using this tape. Um, you'll notice that it's a little bit thicker over here and this thickness of the mouse. Wow, you have a thick mouse, so cool. It will actually help you double click a lot easier and also triple click because it's just thicker. I, I don't know, it's, like, it's just physics. And what this also lets you do, it's, it elevates it from the platform a lot higher. So it just becomes so much easier to butterfly click on. Like, guys, like this may just seem a little bit, but it helps a lot. So if you're having trouble, just put this on and thank me later. And also for the other side, it's just so easy to butterfly click on. Thank you.